A small baby's growth chart. Following a small baby's weight over time is vital to knowing whether the baby is growing normally or not. This is most easily seen by regularly plotting the baby's weight on a growth chart. This video will show how to use a growth chart and how a small baby's typical growth pattern appears. First, let's explain the features of a growth chart. On the left-hand side of the chart, we see weight from lowest to highest. The height of each box represents 25 grams. Many scales are marked in 50 gram increments. However, if the needle is between two marks, it can be accurate to 25 grams. On the bottom of the chart, we see age in days, starting from day one, the day of birth. This chart is divided into three color-coded weight regions. The red region is less than 1500 grams for very low weight babies. The yellow region is between 1500 and 2500 grams for low weight babies and the green region is above 2,500 grams for normal weight babies. Now, we'll explain the normal growth pattern of a small baby. Understanding what is normal can reassure you or alert you to potential problems. Start the growth chart by entering the baby's birth date and weight in column one. Put a dot at the weight on day one. Continue to weigh the baby daily, entering a dot where the weight crosses with the date. Then connect the dots. Small babies typically lose weight in the first three to four days of life. Then they stabilize. And by seven days old, they start to gradually gain. Birth weight is usually regained by 10 to 14 days. After that, you should see a steady weight gain of about 25 grams each day if the baby is feeding adequately. A small baby shouldn't lose more than 10% of their birth weight. To calculate how much the baby would weigh if they lost 10%, Put the birth weight in the top box. Then, to get 10%, take that weight and cross out the last number. Now, subtract that number from the birth weight. If this baby drops to 1530 grams, he has lost 10% of his birth weight. Draw a line at that weight on the baby's chart to alert yourself. If the baby's weight crosses the red line, she has lost too much weight and is in danger. Weigh the baby each day. First, zero the scale with the baby's cloth. Then, weigh her with no clothes wrapped in the cloth to keep her warm. Now, enter the date, the weight, and put a dot at the baby's weight on each day. Then, connect the dots. As daily weights may vary, it is better to evaluate weight gain over three to five days. Observing the rise and fall of the growth line over several days will establish whether the baby is doing well, not gaining, or losing weight. Remember, a growth chart is an important tool to understand whether the small baby is feeding adequately 
and gaining weight as she should. Small babies typically lose weight in the first three to four days, then stabilize, and by seven days old, start to gradually gain, regaining their birth weight by 10 to 14 days. A line at 10% of the birth weight can alert you if the baby has lost too much weight.